All right, for those of you that really care, uh, the outcome of that uh, repair on the masts. We've got the old mast, the newer mast, so the old one's this one, the newer one's that one. Outcomes, outcomes. The one with the camware. So it went down to the glass, remember? Had that divot in there all the way around and the cams and the sail. How do we end up? Not bad. So I've just put the final layer of epoxy on top just for, you know, make it nice. Um, I put that little piece of carbon and then I put a secondary wider piece of carbon in there. The little piece was to fill the hole, the second one's to seal it. <laughs> Pretty well close to perfect in my eyes. Um, I think the rest of the mast has got more damage than this section right now. And um, look at my hand. Not much movement, not much movement at all. So I've been able to sand it down. I could keep sanding it down and make it glassy. It is, you know, wet and dry sandpaper at various grits to get it down. I just couldn't be bothered. Oh, I just, yeah, had enough of it. Um, I'm going to put it on the mast, attach it to another mast base, put it on a sail at some stage. Let's test it out. I'm pretty sure the cam's still going to do its job. Um, this one here, I had the dual repairs on it. Uh, this one didn't really need to have much happened on it and this one was just uh, just in case um the outcome so this one had one wrap i sanded it greater than it needed to be it didn't need to be sanded this much so i just want to see at what point i can sort of get it so smooth that you can't really feel it which is pretty well at this point well it wouldn't actually impact on the structural integrity of the additional wrap but i did i've over sanded it so you'll be able to see at some point in time you can see the original mask coming through there and somewhere there, yeah, just over sanded a little bit. But I wanted to find its limits. It didn't need to be fixed, but um, it's a learning exercise. So pretty smooth. So you're always going to get that weave, or do you always have to have the weave? So the one that we wanted to really strengthen, the outcome of that one, again, it's got the epoxy on it. Um, not bad. So I didn't want to spend too much time again making it look nice. I just wanted to just hold, just be a strong piece of carbon. And that's what I did. Um, if you want to get to a point where it's really you want to smooth it out and all that what would i recommend if your your damage is around here leave 20 mils excess carbon on either side and then work your way up 10 mils and 10 mils so 10 mils only that um sanding it so you can then transition across so you'll be able to achieve this just you know what i mean leave it nice and firm up there and transition across that is smooth that's got a slight lump but I'm telling you, there's not much in it. Um, another learning. There is a part of this here that's a little bit smoother than the other area. Um, maybe hard to see with the camera. Uh, by the eye, there it is there. So see how smooth it is there? It's not from sanding. So if I had a bicycle or anything like that, I want to make it look nice. I do want to really paint it. How do you achieve this? This is a join where I've wrapped it once and the second wrap's coming here and the join to the other carbon. So this is the end of the carbon. What happens when you cut carbon is generally you get those fibers. Um, I've got an example here and it can get as long as you want it to be. See those fibers there at the end? So if I started to pull that white glass, so that's all the glass being weaved in there. So if I wanted to have a, a, a polished finish on this carbon, so to speak, I'd keep pulling that white carbon so that I had all these fibers sufficient to be wrapped around this once, so to speak. So only use it to beautify your mast or your finished product. This is your strength here. You need the carbon to be interwove. But if you want to get that smooth and non-weave look, leave enough of this. So just keep pulling it until it sort of only has the fibers. And then you'll be able to achieve that without even sanding all the way around otherwise if you don't care like me end up with that does a job does a job one more thing you think well how, do, how can i apply this um this product the heat shrink to my bicycle or whatever it is because it's this easy on a mask you just work it up but with a bicycle frame yeah i understand so you'll need to cut it uh again i've undertaken it this is the old one Cut it, wrap it around the area you want. Pre-prepare it the night before you do your carbon and epoxy. So this glue, good old Aerodite, 
which we tested with that little piece that we had before. I don't know what's happened to it. There it is. Look, it doesn't have to be round. I'd put it on a piece of metal and it started shrinking. But you know, get to a point where this all comes in different sizes, this product. So this is as big as I could find, but it gets to very, you know, it gets to like five mil of tubing. So depending on what you're doing, then I'd recommend you getting the right size tubing. But this Aerodite here, this, I don't know if Sellies is Australian or is it worldwide? Not sure, don't care. Or a similar product with this compound. Uh, what is it? 50 50. And um, we chose that maximum one. Um, that glues this product. So, um, what I would recommend is you'd put it around your bicycle frame and just wrap it around each other. So, um, just seal it like, you know, you sort of get the drift over each other just nicely with a nice cut. Um, yeah, you might have a little bit of an indentation, but uh, I took the heat gun to it just for a sec on this broken tool, and the glue itself doesn't come apart. So the aerodite won't go apart. So I've, I've glued this. Let's see if I can take it off. Oh, it's still hot from the um, that thing. <laughs> oh, I can't even get it off. Anyway, I was just experimenting to see if I could um, utilize that. Oh, I can't get it off, right? So um, it's still a little bit large, this, and it's been used... For the mask but you get the idea that this aerodite look at that look how here we go it's sort of coming off but it's going to create the um the bond that you need to get it on bike frames and stuff so well that would be the end of this oh the next you'll see me is actually ring it up on my sails i want to test it out at full strength and um once i rig it up full downhaul time to take it out on the water